Hey everyone, Trevor Sigich here, Director of Content at Worldwide Golf. We've got David Marabella here, Director of Retail Marketing, and we got Tomo from the TaylorMade side. Tomo, we had a chance to go and kind of test these out on the course, but I think it's about time we put some numbers behind it. So what, what are we gonna do here? Yeah, I think we should do a fitting. Okay. Obviously, like the, the product speaks for itself, but to get the maximum out of it, you need to get fit, obviously. Absolutely. And so, love to get uh, David here to try to dial in the new product. Let's do it. All right, take it away. Yeah, so, you know, typically with somebody like David, I mean, you're you're a good player, you've, you've got some speed. You wouldn't think that the Max would be a product that you'd play, but the right. QI10 Max really has the performance for a lot of different golfers and you know the 10,000 MI is going to benefit every level player. Of course. Obviously if you miss the face a lot and you and you kind of have a really wide dispersion on the face that's going to be beneficial in terms of that forgiveness, straightness. But if you're a better player and you hit more of the center face more often uh, like we saw Blocky do earlier. Right. Even those slight miss hits at groove low high is going to give that consistency benefit as well. For sure. So we're going to see both that uh, display here hopefully today. So we're going to start you with the QI10 Max. We've got the nine degree here, right. uh, David. I think that's a good loft. I've seen you hit a few balls earlier. Okay. And we're going to try the 10 say black shaft here just for a little bit of spin control, a little firmer feeling for Perfect. again your club head speed. This is a good little test subject right out of the gates. I mean, you ripped it out of the gate there. So that's... there you go. 2849 spin rate. 287 total. Yeah, about a nine degree launch. And let's take a look here. Let's look at where the impact location was. Really nice. I mean, overall. Um, so he's about like, eight on the heel. Yeah, slight, eight. slight heel. I think that's where a little bit of extra spin came from there, maybe a couple hundred reference, but that's still a good spin rate. It's under, under 3,000, that 2,800 range. Exactly, yeah. And almost 290 total. I mean, that's a great shot out of the gate. I mean, that's very nice to see actually with that spin rate for something slightly towards the heel. Normally, I would expect it to kind of jump up and really lose control of it, but I feel like that was that it was just, the fade I was looking for. It like maintained, yeah, right, without overspinning. Yeah. yeah, I think one of the one of the kind of key recipes of the QI10 uh, Max is that you know we combine two different technologies that work there. When you miss it a little bit on the heel, obviously the stability of the 10,000 MOI is going to produce less twisting, right? And less twisting means less side spin. Sure. The other part that we have there is we have twist face still in the product as well. Right. And twist face in the heel is gonna reduce how much the ball starts uh, going to the right right away. So it's actually gonna start your line a little bit more left okay, yep. and reduce the amount of side spin. So I think those two things are working great for you there and uh, you ended up right, right on your on your uh, target line there. Yeah, it was perfect. Perfect, all right. It was almost the exact same recipe. The one yeah. thing we did see was the spin rate kind of climb a little bit, but he still yeah. maintained like yeah. in terms of a lot of the other numbers across yeah. the board. The distance was still 286. That was a much better impact location. Yeah. yeah, creeping a little closer to the middle there. Yeah, right. that was just, you know, a slightly open face. Yep. Uh, but, but your impact location was just a little bit in the heel again, not much. The consistency of the strike and that feel, even though it's been heel, it does feel like I'm getting it out of the middle. So I kind of need to like check and see like, wait, where did, where did I get <laughs> where that? Did. Yeah. That's a good one. I mean, you could throw a blanket over those last three <laughs> I think balls. all three of them <laughs> I mean, absolutely could. I mean, we could call it a wrap on the fitting there. I mean, if so there honestly, you go. tiny bit, tiny bit low on the face, yeah. which obviously is going to increase your RPM Spend, yeah. just a little bit. So you're just over the 3000 there, still a nice ball flight, still a good distance. I mean, they all went almost 290. I mean, that's a, I'm playing that all day to be honest. Yeah. That, if you could play that, yeah, if you hit that shot on the golf course, you're going to be very, very happy with it. I think you actually found the center line on that. Yeah, yeah. So there we go. That was perfect. Landed on it. So yeah. initially, right out of the gates, you look at those three shots, you see kind of the pool of numbers that you're getting, yeah. you're collecting from here. What's what's your first thought that comes, comes to mind immediately after? Yeah, so I think as far as the fitting goes, I think this, you know, we cheated a little bit here because we saw him hit some shots earlier. Absolutely. So we start off, I think, in a really good spot. Uh, what this tells me is, this is a very good fit for you in terms of something you could take to the course, you'd hit it great. The, I think for you what would be interesting from here on is to maybe try the other heads as well. Sure. To see, you know, the different feel, the different look at yep. a dress as well. They're a little smaller, the other two heads. And, you know, maybe we can find a little more distance on those center hits. Of and course. then it's really up to you to decide, hey, do I want that consistency and, and a little bit more forgiveness? Or do I want to maybe optimize a little bit more for distance for your speed? I mean, no, let's face no. it, you're fast. Your swing speed is at 114, 113. Sure. Yep. You're definitely in the upper echelon of swing speed. So typically you wouldn't be able to really play this kind of driver at all. Sure. Um, so I think it's, again, I think we're in a good spot, but I think we can um, try the other ones and just see where we end up. Perfect. Sounds just great. tweak it a little bit. 
I don't think I would change it. I think nine straight in was, was a good fit for you on this head. Uh, so I think what we'll do is we'll go straight to the QI10 LS. So okay. this will be the extreme. We obviously have the QI10 model right in between these right. two. So this is a, an interesting thing for fitters. You might want to do the extremes and then you might end up in the middle at yeah, the end. Kind of fine tune. After fine that. tune, exactly. Sure. Um, so what I'm going to do is seeing how you hit it. I'm going to just make a slight tweak to this. Okay. I'm not going to tell you what I'm doing. Sounds good. And then just kind of see where you hit this and then we can kind of go from there. Perfect. Okay, so we saw that one. Okay, that Maybe. one came out dramatically differently. Dramatically different. Maybe you a saw high on the face. High on the face, yep. almost. It was almost like a dead knuckleball. Yeah. yeah. So, so let's take a look at the club data. So half an inch in the like high on the face, mm -hmm. um, on a lower spin driver to begin with. So that was, I mean, that was very low spin. Right. Interestingly, total distance was about the same. Uh, <laughs> that was a ton, so it's gonna run. Yeah. ton of roll. <laughs> ton of roll. There's your benefits in no spin, right? Absolutely. Right. But that, but you were also talking earlier too. Yeah. There's there's the positive benefit of yes. no roll, but there's also the negative where you can't control it. Exactly. That's yeah. the correction. So yeah. you did see the spin rate kind of keeping that 2,500. Yeah. You obviously right. you're going to see that impact location drop lower, a little yeah. bit lower. Yeah. So again, one of the benefits here of the LS head is that even on a low face hit like that, you're still going to have very low spin. Yeah, I mean, of course. That's still 2,500 RPMs, which is kind of, you know, where, where you want to be for distance. And right. Much better. And now there we found it, it. Yeah. Just a couple swings. We gotta watch out for swings. those guys on the other side of the range. <laughs> That's a hammer. That was a good one, man. Really good there. Oh yeah. I mean, here, this one, you were spin rate actually a little bit low. Right. And I would probably add a bit of loft to this one. That was only 1700. Okay, yeah. So uh, low, yeah. And 10 four and launch. 10 launch, right. Similar ball speed to the other one, about 167. Uh, but because you had that low spin, you were carrying this one a little bit farther, 288 carry and 317 total. That's that's a really nice shot there. If you can repeat this, <laughs> yeah. great. But I think this Moment setting this setting for you is probably a little bit too low spin. Okay. You want to so try something else here? Let's, let's do a quick tweak to it. Okay. Part of the the beauty of this driver, obviously, with the QA 10 LS, is you do have multiple adjustments, right? You can adjust loft and lie with this. Actually, what I did on that first adjustment, I put it in the upright setting too. Yep. Mm -hmm because you, you play a little fade. So I just wanted to fight against that a little bit. Yep, absolutely. Uh, we also have this 18 gram sliding weight here that I, I put in the heel as well, to, just to help you turn it over a little bit more as Definitely. well. So I'm gonna take this one, I'm gonna put this in full higher setting. So this would be adding uh, two degrees of loft. Okay. And and again, this is one where you see where you end up, maybe you dial it back right. a little bit. Of course. But uh, good just, just to make sure we see a difference. Kind of trying those extremes one way or another. Exactly, too, right? yeah. yeah. So is, is the full higher setting also gonna make an adjustment in terms of the line? Slight adjustment, yeah. Okay. So this one's gonna be lying, the lying angle of the higher setting is between the flattest and the most upright. So it's right. kind of that neutral setting. Ooh, we got way more height out of that one. Yeah. Really good ball flight there. That was a great ball flight. Yeah, and I think this proved out, I mean, we went to the extremes, that was 2,800 RPMs, right. right? So we probably overshot the loft a little bit. Sure. And uh, so you lost a little bit of distance just because it, it was a little more spinny than the last one. Let's look at the club data here and see what the impact was. Pretty good. Two, two millimeters down, two millimeters in the toe. I mean, that's actually a really good impact location. I'd be very happy with that <laughs> if you hit, hit it like that every time. But I think based on that one shot, I'm just gonna take it down and Got to go to that middle ground. Okay. Um, so I, with each adjustment that you're making on the sleeve, so if you go from a standard to the full higher, how yep. much in terms of incrementally will it go between notches? Yeah, that's a great question. So uh, in the standard setting to the highest, it's two degrees. Okay. And there's two notches between that. The first notch from standard to higher is about three quarters of a degree. Okay. And then the next stop is about uh, half a degree and another half a degree roughly. It's, it's a little bit complicated exactly what the numbers are right but that's a good way to think about it um so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to just do one notch into higher from the upright setting that we started with perfect um and you should have about a 9.8 degree of loft okay. on this one now yep which i think is going to be pretty good are you liking how it's feeling in the I, swing yeah i do i like it a lot um even with the shaft setup too i kind of feel i'll feel the head a little bit more too uh -huh. which is nice um in my gamer, I'm playing a slightly heavier shaft. Yeah. Um, I don't necessarily know what swing weight is on this right now. I think yeah. normally mine is about D4. Yeah, it's probably a little lighter. Okay, yep. Um, but yeah, I'm still feeling yeah. the head. Yeah. I, uh, it feels good. Yep, nice. 
There you go. Yeah, that's a really nice little, little fade there. A little high spin, 28, but I mean, still, like that's that's the sort of band you're working in. And if you can, if, if that's your slight low face shot, that's yep. still a great spin rate. Still got a 295. Watching the flight, I don't necessarily mind those. If I'm on the course, yeah. I'm aiming left already. Yeah. I'm expecting the fade. You're playing the fade, exactly. So when you see what you expect, I mean, that's, you, yeah, you can trust pretty that. Good. Plus one minus four, so it kind of brings you a little bit into the heel. Uh -huh. Okay. There's a tiny, tiny bit, which will, yep. but I mean, that that also is like you talked about earlier. You have the twist face technology that's mm -hmm. still caked into this. That's right. So that is going to help offset that quite a bit. Yeah, I'm seeing a very consistent flight regardless of where I'm hitting it on the face, except yeah. for the one shot where yeah. I kind of create it myself, right? There's just a low bullet right yeah. there. Take that though. That, I think that was, that was nice. I mean, that was 2400, a little lower launch, like a degree or two lower launch than your other ones. Yep. Good, really good ball speed, almost ball speed 170. For sure, yeah. yeah. I mean, that's the sort of shot that if you play, the, if you like to have that more running ball flight, that's just perfect right there. Because that 2400 RPMs is also not too low. Right. Where if you draw it a little bit, it's not gonna turn into a hook or anything like that. It's still gonna stay on line really yep. well. So. No, that felt very nice. I like that, yeah. I don't mind the low one. I, I know that I can get more carry out of something that's you higher. Know, going higher. Um, but to me, if, my, if, I'm, if I'm hitting my start line, I'm not necessarily worried about the things that I'm trying to carry then. Usually I'm gonna avoid those trouble areas. Right. So if it launching lower or running out, I'm okay with that. Right. right. Now, cool. based, based on everything that you've seen here so far, we talked a little bit about like throughout the fitting process, where comes that point where you're gonna make those like very, very minor adjustments? You've already made a few. Is there anything else that you would you would maybe try here with someone? I think like I think I think process? if if I was gonna do go to the next step, I would probably add just a smidge of loft. I would go to the, that one next click higher in loft, uh, which we can do that. Yeah. Uh, and then you know I, I also would want to check make sure that the shaft is right for him. You know what's he used to? I think this one. Um, it's actually a pretty good fit for trying to get the numbers dialed in, but ultimately shaft is also subjective in how it feels in the downswing. Can you feel the head? Is it right. kicking the right way? Of course. Because that then gives you that feedback of confidence. Right. If you feel a shaft and you know where the head is, you're going to probably swing it a little faster and swing it more confidently, more consistently. So, you know, this is the first time you've hit the shaft, I think. So yes. it's, yep. it's going to be a little different from what you're used to. Uh, but overall, from the numbers side, I, I like this a lot. And I think overall the takeaway is that, you know, the max was more consistent. This one did get you a few more yards. Right. And I think, you, you know, this is one maybe maybe where you just, you know, you work on it a little bit more and try to dial it in. Um, I think a exactly lot of players would lean that direction too. In, yeah. in many ways, they they see what the capability of something is. Yes. So they're like, okay, I'm gonna put the work in and do this. Absolutely. And then there's the other side where they need the help, they need the launch, they yeah. need the forgiveness. They don't want to worry about it about it as much. And yeah. that's where the max is. Yeah. Perfect. And I think for me, you know, looking at your max too, the, the fact that you have a low spin driver in this and you got the same ball speed in the max, right. it's pretty remarkable. That's and, awesome. and it's really just about, again, managing your left, right, and your spin and, and kind of what you like to look at. Well, Ooh. I think we nailed it. I think you got <laughs> it. That might even be a little bit on the heel. Yeah. Let's see. Wow. That was a little bit. Okay. Four so that was a yeah. low heel basically. Yeah. yeah. And you still kept the spin rate at 20, 2700. Yeah. The forgiveness across the face is amazing through, through both models. That is extremely impressive. I mean, one of the things that we, you know, we've changed into the going to the QI models is we have redesigned uh, kind of that ledge structure around the face. Right. Uh, and that's specifically going to help those shots like that one. That's a little more closer to the perimeter and retain the speed in the face a little bit better. Okay, yeah. yeah. Little heely, but again, I, I'm gonna take that flight all yeah, day. Like, that was really nice. There you go. Yeah. So that hundred that feet. we brought you up at a, basically hundred feet. Yeah. yeah. Let me. Uh, yeah. Beautiful. Let's here. look at the impact location. I'm pretty sure you were spot on. Yeah. You live right there in that low it's heel. Minus, that's definitely. minus three. That's still. my. That's my so spot. Still slightly below center face, even with that adjustment. Okay. There we go. That's it. That's the one. That's crushed. Yep, yeah, that's all that. good. You could see it landing wow. further up. That was a good one. Wow. So, Holy okay. Smokes, so yeah. now we get to go. We get to look at that Plus impact seven. location. <laughs> Plus seven. There we go. But so you look at that, right? So that's a little over 2,000 RPMs. 
Um, what was the peak height there? Peak 100? height right here is at 98, 98.20. Yeah. Very feet. close. Yeah. 100 feet, yeah. Yep. I mean, that's the one where I think you're optimized the best. Yep. Um, if you, so if you can live in that zero to plus five, I think that would be the ideal. Obviously, I'm really nitpicking here. Of course, <laughs> yeah. I mean, all those shots were great. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, that's that's where we can see that impact location having a little bit of a difference. And especially for somebody to tease it up low, it's a watch out just a little bit of like, you're probably giving up five, 10, 15 yards by just hitting it a yep. little low in the face. I'll right. take that yeah. with me all day. Keep that in mind every time I tee it up. Yeah, exactly. Cool. That's a, I think that's a good one to end on. Yeah. Um, so the, the one reason that we wanted to do this out here too, and we also brought the GC quad system, and this is a system that we use in all of our store locations for the fitting process. So Tomo, thank you so much for taking the time running through Absolutely. this with us. I know that David and I want to keep going deeper and deeper into this topic <laughs> because we could, we could go all day. But uh, anyway, just make sure you guys visit a worldwide golf retail location. Get custom fit for the new TaylorMade QI 10 lineup. You're going to absolutely love it.